All right, I got a treat for you guys today. I got Sal here with me, and we're gonna put together a little series for you guys. And the idea is that we're only gonna use one piece of equipment or one tool to do a full body HIIT workout. And before we start this, I wanna explain how we talk about HIIT workouts, a little bit different than what uh, you hear or you see most people talking about them, which is most people give a protocol of hard 20, 30 seconds, and then rest for 10 or 15 seconds we believe that you should go based off of perceived exertion, right? Perceived so, intensity. So what we're gonna, we're gonna show you some exercises. We're gonna use, in many of them, just this barbell. It's, a, it's a, just a plain barbell, 45 pound standard barbell. You can grab a lighter one or a heavier one uh, if you have one. I've actually done one with just this. And for some exercises, this barbell is gonna be pretty light. So I'm gonna do more reps. And for other exercises, I'm gonna be doing less repetitions because it's kind of heavy. For example, if I did rows with this, I'd do a lot more reps than if I did curls. When your form starts to break down, that's when you switch to the next exercise. So in other words, when you're doing some of these big movements like the, the row or a push-up or a lunge, exercises that incorporate bigger muscles, you're probably gonna be able to move this weight a lot easier. You could end up doing 20, 30 plus repetitions of that exercise smaller muscle groups like your biceps, you're probably only gonna be able to get five to 15 repetitions when you start doing curls. That's so right. each individual is completely different. The idea is that as soon as it starts to break down form at all, that's where you stop. You, don't want, you do not wanna do any cheat reps and then you move on to the next exercise. So you wanna complete this entire circuit before you take a break, rest, and then repeat. We're gonna recommend about three rounds of this particular circuit. So the first exercise I'm gonna show you is your good old fashioned push-ups. You don't need the barbell for this one. You just need the floor. Now with your push-ups, and I'll move this way so you can kind of see what's going on here. Just some, some tips on form here. A lot of times people have uh, pain in the wrist when they're doing a push-up. I like to tell people to grip the floor. This activates the flexors of the forearms, takes a little bit of pressure off the wrist. So again, I'm gripping the floor. The other thing I'm gonna do is I wanna twist as if I'm, if I'm screwing dials here on the floor. That gives me more stable shoulders nice and tight, and you're gonna do your push-ups at this nice, controlled, continual pace right here, nice and tight. So Sal's not gonna do all of them right now to fatigue, but he could probably rep out easily close to 50 push-ups on his first round. Now remember, each round's probably gonna be a little bit different, so the first time right. he may get out about 50 push-ups, by the time he gets the second and the third round, he may be all the way down to 15 or 20. So immediately after doing your push-ups, now you grab your barbell, first exercise, barbell row, you wanna bend over with good posture, chest forward, pull to the belly button and down. This is a circuit, so the motion is continual. Notice how my shoulders are coming back, squeezing back, they're not rounded forward, and my chest is forward and I've got good posture. I'm not completely flat to the floor, I'm up at just a slight angle. Again, this is the tempo you wanna aim for. And again, this is another big muscle we're working, so Sal could probably rep out 50 of those on his first round. Absolutely. So you're taking it to almost failure, and then you're moving on the next exercise. Absolutely. Now, I'll keep my grip on the bar. I might grab a little wider. I'm gonna clean it to my shoulders. Elbows under my hands, nice tight position. Press straight up over my head. Head comes forward. Come right back down, all the way down to the chest, and repeat. This is your standard shoulder press. Now we're starting to get to smaller muscle groups, so probably not gonna be able to get 30 or 50 of these out. He's probably gonna land somewhere between 15 to 20 before he has to move on to the next exercise. Next exercise, I'm gonna switch my hands. Good old fashioned barbell curls. Straight up, straight down, elbows at my sides, arms straight at the bottom, arms fully flexed at the top. I'm not swinging the weight. Again, you want good form. If your form starts to break down, that's when it's time to switch. So here's my curls. And the next exercise, this one's gonna be the most difficult one. This one, bar goes on the back. I'm not doing squats. I'm actually gonna do a back step lunge. This one is easily the most challenging of all the exercises. So I start with my feet about shoulder width. I take a big step back, lower my knee, come back up, do the same thing on the other side, take a big step back, lower my knee, come back up, and I switch again. You're doing this until form starts to break down and then you switch. If this is really challenging because that's the hardest exercise, this may be the only one. If you're a beginner, I would tell you to maybe possibly do this without the bar the very first time to get your form and mechanics down. That's a good point. And then add it. And then the last one would be your close grip push-up. Close up. grip push-ups right over here. Just like the push-ups, the difference is my hands are closer together, put my thumbs together, 
and I'm going to come down and press myself up. This is the focus on the triceps. This one's also difficult for a lot of people. You may not do very many reps with that one. So, so again, go ahead. So the idea of the HIT workout is that it's about 15 minutes long. So it doesn't matter where you're at in your circuit, that's where you want to cut it off. You want to push your body until you need rest. Everyone's going to be different. Some people will make it all the way through the entire full body workout before they have to do a little bit of rest. But if you have to rest before that, that's totally fine. Rest, let the heart rate come back down. As soon as it comes back down, you're right back at it again, and you continue doing that for 15 minutes. The important thing to remember is you're literally done. You want to be done in under 20 minutes, and you'll get, your heart rate will get up, you'll get a little bit of a muscle building signal, fat burning signal. It's a great way to cram a lot in a little bit of time. That's right. Excellent. So check it out. We subscribe to this channel. There's a new video every single day. And also check out our 30 Days of Coaching. It's free and it's available at mindpumpmedia.com.